A big what's up to everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, we have done it. The Philadelphia 76ers have hired Daryl Morey to become their new president of basketball operations. Yes, you heard me correctly, and I did not stutter. Former Rockets general manager and Sam Hinkie's mentor, Daryl Morey, has been hired by the team. I am in, in a utter, complete state of shock and serendipity. This is big. Like, like... Like, this is very big, huge news. This shocking news was presented by Sham slash Woes on Wednesday. Um, and the deal, as we know it right now, is for five years. We're not sure um, how much the actual cost is, but best believe the 76ers spent a check. Let's deep dive into it. I'm so hyped, bro. <laughs> so if you are a basketball fan, you should already know who Daryl Morey is. But I'm gonna still run down some of his accolades just to give you a little spice of who we have just hired. So this is the same guy who who convinced Dwight Howard to sign to his team, the Houston Rockets, after Dwight left the situation in Los Angeles with Kobe Bryant during that tumultuous year. Rest in peace, Kobe. This is the guy who saw the uber talent James Harden had when he was a six man in the OKC and swung for the fences to get him. This is the same guy who completed that trade. This is the same guy who crafted those Rockets teams for the last six years who are always in contention for a Western Conference championship. Yes, they did not always win, but when you thought of those top four, top three teams in the West who actually had a chance, Daryl Morey was the man who put all of that together. He also holds a 2018 GM of the Year award so right off the bat, I am beyond ecstatic because this hire says that the days of Josh Harris and the ownership group meddling in basketball operations, i.e. the Sam Hinkie firing, i.e. the team collaboration, which we all had to get drugged through as a fan base for the last year, year and a half are over. Maury with all his accolades and respect throughout the basketball league, the basketball fraternity, let's just say, is not going to come and choose this Sixers team to work for this Sixers organization if the ownership group was going to give him a hard time and block any of the trade slash moves he wants to do. Like, I cannot believe it. This, this is basically Josh Harris saying, look, I done screwed up through everything. My bad. Y'all got it. <laughs> He's literally saying, look, because there, there is no way that Josh Harris and David Blitzer hire the mentor of Sam Hinkie, the guy who like, you know, I don't even got to go through Sam because you already know he's, he is my boy, but hire his mentor without owning some responsibility saying, look, maybe what we have been doing the last four years hasn't been working and maybe we should allow someone else to do it. Specifically choosing a hire from Hinkie's past. That's a pride slash ego thing, bro. The process has been vindicated. I have been calling them incompetent for the last four videos. I might have to take that actual statement back, y'all, because, and probably spent the check too. You know they spent mad, bro, you're, bro, how much money has the Sixers been spending the last few weeks? These mofos are loaded, but that's besides the whole point. This move, along with all the other off-season moves, gives the team an identity, something we have not had for a long time. I can't even put this into words. I really thought that, and this is, look, I, I have a whole script of, of everything that I wanna say in this video, but but right now is completely off script. If you can talk to any of my friends, if you can talk to my pop after being swept by the Celtics in the playoffs and fired Brett Brown and we were in just like complete disarray, I really thought that like the Sixers were done. There was gonna be no way we could come back after squandering all of our assets, giving away Covington, Dario, assets, picks, trading for Jimmy Butler, gambling our future for a one-year rental, signing Al Horford, and B getting upset because he's he's seen everything within the Sixers franchise from the ups and the downs since the beginning, since 2014, which is six years ago, a very long time. I thought we were honestly finished without a miracle happening and the basketball gods allowed Doc Rivers and Daryl Morey to be available. If that's not luck, I do not know what is. There was literally a fork in the Sixers. 
we were done. I was going to have to hear Celtics fans for the next five to two, six years talk mad ish on, oh, Jason Tatum. He's, he's, <laughs> he's only 21, 22, 23. I was going to have to hear that for so long. But this, like, th this offseason has changed everything literally saved the trajectory of our team and no this does not make us an automatic championship contender for next year but it damn well helps aid in that pursuit going forward this is beautiful back to my script so what can you not love about this hire if anything what is the one thing that the sixers need to actually go to the next step what is the one thing during the 2017 2018 season that we had which made us so great that allowed us to blow out teams in the second halves of each game shooting that's really all we need and this man is a maestro for finding rooting out picking and trading for those type people how can you not love this hire it's so funny because everyone was saying when maury stepped down from his rockets position that he was going to go home stay stay with his family, take his mind off of basketball and just change a different career path. <laughs> that was a smoke screen. It's like, okay, like, like, nah, bro. Like, like, trust the process, bro. You guys might have saw my comment. I believe it was on the new front office hires vi video. Um, and I said, um, it might be a pipe dream, but I want the Sixers to hire Daryl Morey for personal reasons. And God is a God of answering because <laughs> we got this boy like come on dog come on you cannot make this stuff up come on now bro so what does this mean for 76ers basketball well of course there's change on the way it is looking like Maury will be overseeing all of the front office meaning GM Elson Brand will be below him stature wise I can see this actually working out a lot of new people in the organization with both types of personality so this is a very great combination of thinking and i also love this hire because the tandem of doc and daryl are going to have huge chips on their shoulders going into next year doc because he has blown a lot of those three one leads let's just keep keep it real and everyone has been calling him a incompetent coach at the same time daryl has something to prove because he has no rings yet he has been in the conversation for one of the best GMs the league has to offer the last 10 years. Both of these men have reason to go all out and kill the NBA next year. No doubt about it. If you feel so inclined, let me know what you think of the Daryl Morey hire down below in the comment section. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and to share my channel with a 76ers fan and potentially a Rockets fan. <laughs> So just to recap, the 76ers have made a big, grandiose move. We are on the right path. Thank you guys for pulling up. As always, them boys are mad because the process worked. My name is Kain, and I will see you next time. Peace.